All right, so what had happened was Louisiana Beer Reviews Special Edition in one way and Special Edition not in another way, Bellhaven Scottish Ale. It's a special edition for me because it's a revisit, but for Elizabeth, it's a first visit. Okay. It's appropriate. At this time last year, I was in Scotland. Well, technically, I was in London, but... You had traveled, traveled from Scotland. from Scotland and back to Scotland after London, so... Okay, it's five... It's timely. It's 5.2% alcohol, the American version. In Scotland, it's much lower, I think 3.9. But this is brewed in Scotland. Yes. Okay. It's brewed in Dunbar, Scotland. Otherwise, I'd be like, you just put that back in the fridge. And it's exported. But um, they oftentimes will change the alcohol for the American market because our beers generally are much higher alcohol. And in Europe, they're lower, much lower generally for everyday drinking. Mm -hmm. Okay, now this company was founded in 1719 after Scotland had already united with England to form Great Britain. It says rich, nutty, and smooth. I bought this at um, Martin Wine Cellar. And I also bought the Wee Heavy. You didn't get to try the Wee Heavy, which is more alcohol than this. 11.2 mm -hmm. ounce bottle, so it's smaller than American bottles, which are 12 ounces. So we're just really taking a taste with this small bottle. <clears throat> Here's your glass, a fancy little. Ooh, look at that border paper. I think these are cognac oh, glasses. Elf glass, my goodness. Cognac glasses, from what I understand. It's a very pretty honey color. Yeah, and I'm pouring it aggressively. I'm not getting much of a head of foam. But um, I got people really tell me off and on. Well, we could share it. I mean, you know. Oh no, I'm saying there's definitely like oh, really no, not much no. of a head up here. People tell me, "Turn out a port of beer." <laughs> they got this, this this thing where people think you have to pour it with the glass tilted. Some companies recommend that for some beers, and other companies you'll watch the video of them pouring their beer and they're pouring it straight in. Mm -hmm. You know, so obviously they might know something about beer. It's almost a fruity smell. Yeah, now the aroma is what? What color is that? Like a amber? Yeah, it looks like honey. Almost like a dark honey. Yeah, it's a dark color. I see a lot of sediment floating about. With the light coming in, there is a lot of fine particulate matter and some lazy bubble screams. Mm -hmm. And a cream colored thin head. Yeah. I think it would be maybe thicker, but maybe not. I know this is weird, but it organs. really does smell like juice or something to me. Like, and it's only used in water, barley, malt, hops, and yeast, apparently. So I don't know what I'm smelling or what. It's why, just that sweet it, barley malt, okay? Maybe it's the barley. It smells like some grape juice or something. I don't know. It, it says, smells good. It says our signature Scottish ale is the beer we've brewed the longest. So this is the one going back to 1719, and it is our best-selling bottle worldwide. We brew it from 100% Scottish. Optic and crystal barley malt for a nutty biscuit character. Balanced with a subtle spiciness from Challenger and Golding's hops. Okay, and this is from George Howell, the master brewer in Belhaven. Belhaven was bought out by Green King, a company from England who produces a whole array of beers. It smells really sweet and nice. It is fruity. It's very bready to me. It's like sweet, bready, almost like a spiced fruit bread. Like fruit cake or something, yeah. Yeah. I always consider fruit cake more like a bread. Doesn't it have more of a bread consistency, fruit cake? Yeah, it's like a loaf. Um, yeah. It tastes like I remember it tasting. It's really nice. It's sweet, but it's not too sweet. And there is some of that bitterness, some of the hops I do taste. It's got a it's great mouthfeel. Hoppy bitterness, but it's not too hoppy. It's, it's not too sweet. I mean, it's not too bitter. It's not too citrusy. You know, there's a little touch of citrus, like mm -hmm. maybe, you know, like apricot or mango. Yeah. Yeah, I could taste the apricot. I could see that. And oh, um, definitely brown bread crust, like a wheat bread, almost like a honey wheat bread. Mm hmm Yeah. I really like it. The mouthfeel is medium. It's not a heavy beer. No. It's not. Medium. It's not light. Yeah. I agree. Sorry. I'm, 
I was thinking, I was, <laughs> I was thinking, I didn't try a lot of beer. A lot of beer when I was in Scotland, did I? I was on a whiskey kick. Uh oh. Um, well, I I never was a big whiskey drinker, and then when I started drinking Jameson in Ireland, I was like, oh my goodness, it's my new favorite. I had some beer. So Father Pat drinks. I had, um, I had some beer in Scotland. I had um, a lot of Iron Brew, which is like my favorite soda. And we, I mean, we drink in London. I had Pim's Cup for the first time, things like that. But I lost. I had some Scottish beer. There's one that comes with the can. It's got maybe it's got a tea on it, or it's got. Uh, I don't know. Um, it's kind of a dry finish, huh? Yeah. Scottish beers. I've had a lot. What is that beer? It almost it's like a plain looking can with just a letter on it, I think. But I can't remember. Te uh, oh, uh, it's a big uh, tenants. Tenants, maybe. Yeah, that's English, I think. English. Tenants is uh, old time beer. That's what Chris liked to drink. And they used to have them in those tins, those cans, those big. Mm -hmm. Back in the '70s, it would be in these big steel cans, which gave it a real nice metal taste, I think. But you know, when they came out with the <laughs> with the lined aluminum yeah. cans, which protects the beer from that metallic flavor. Yeah, I know. I tried beers when I was in London. I just don't really remember yeah, what tenets, they were. Tenants. That's a real famous. Um, English beer, which it's I've never English had and beer. I've never seen in America. It has that big letter T on it, you know? Yeah, I had some of that. I wasn't crazy about it. It was kind of basic. What was the, um... Yeah, it's a basic. The beer, what, Old English beer, maybe? Or it was something... It has, like, a red label. It's a popular British beer. Mm. Old English is an American... Okay, so it wasn't that. Mm. I'm thinking of Carling Black Label, but in England it's just called Carling, and it has a blue and silver label. I don't know. Over there's Carling. Um, I definitely tried... In Ireland, a fair amount of beers. Um, I don't know. It's well, there's all, a lot of stuff that you bought there that's not blur. sold here, you see. Mm -hmm. um, so you want to try some more of this? I'll be more, sure. I'll be more attentive when I go back. I'll be more attentive to when mean, I drink. If you go back. No, when. When I go back. All right. Okay. So. So, um, so negative. <laughs> no, I'm just... You don't want to be presumptuous, but um, it's kind of a dry finish to me. It's not super dry like a Bud super Light. Dry, like no. Bud Light is like really dry. It's good. It's really crisp. well balanced. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> excuse me, kids. Adults. <laughs> oh, something just crawled out of a cave. <laughs> that was a lot of carbonation in that old bear. Um, to me, it's like really pleasant, drinkable. Five point two. That's the same as um. Spaten. Spaten is a lager. This is an ale. Um, they also make a Belhaven Scottish Stout, which is black or very dark, and they make two versions of it, a 7% and a 4%. They make a Belhaven. We have a... Uh, there's a pretty good amount of Belhaven beers that we get here. And some Green King beers, like Old mm -hmm. Speckled Hen, Old... Um, well, there's a whole array of those old speckled ones. So, how would you rate this ale? You prefer ales over lagers or it just depends? It just, it really just depends. I really like it. I mean, to me it's a solid A. Now, beer advocates saying it's very good. The bros say outstanding, so they're saying A+. plus. Rate beer, as usual, saying 48 yeah. out of 147 because they just don't like anything. Um, I mean, like, like stouts. Like, I really it's like mass stouts, producer, but it, like anything mass sometimes it depends what's called. Um, um, I think in general... And the beer and me saying things? it's very good. Huh? I don't know. I don't know. Never mind. What were you saying? I'm no, sorry. I was thinking maybe I prefer ales. I don't know. I tend not to pay as much attention to the style as to just, like, what I'm drinking and how yeah. that particular the beer... The two main types of beers are ales or lagers, so... I mean, you drank the um, Steel Reserve Triple Export, the three X's. That's the um, black label Ales can, and hardier, you love that. Right? Not necessarily. They got really heavy lagers, and they've got lighter ales. But ales generally be a little less refined, if you want to call it, and I mean in a refined manner, because they're um, they're not as a clean finish. They're a little more. Um, you get more of a fruitiness. Um, I call them like a dirty, a dirty aspect. Whereas lagers were became famous before their light, tend you know they tend to be light, crisp, golden, or straw color, 
and very oh. snappy, crisp, and easily drinkable. Yeah, I do tend to prefer ales, I think. But then there's lagers that are, there are lagers that are lagers. quite heavy, yeah. Doppelbox. They got Doppelbox, mm -hmm. like a Bureau Moretti La Rosa, which you could give somebody and they might think it's an ale because it's dark. Yeah. It's I mean, you know, like one of my favorite beers is Blue Moon. Alcohol. And that would be an, a, a wheat ale. Yeah. Oh. See, I, I guess I do prefer ales. I'm thinking, I think, I'm thinking lighter and stuff, Blue Moon, but. Oh, well. You see, it just all depends. Um, I guess in general, I probably do prefer ales. How do you score this? I'll give it an A. I think it's really good. Maybe even an A plus. Yeah, I'm going. Be, I'm going to be conservative and say A. Ah, yeah, it's carbonated. It gets a hundred percent for carbonation. Um, I'm going to say A. Most excellent. Yeah, I'm going to say A too. Most excellent, but you could argue it to A plus. So you're really happy you tried it, and you could drink more of this. Yeah, I could drink more. Of it. And you can Not find it in New Orleans. Well, won't be there much longer. Right, and you probably find in it ten days. <laughs> probably find it in Alabama. Okay, yeah. so there's the Scottish flag on there. They did change the label recently, so uh, about a year ago. So lazy Le Bon Ton relate an A beer, nothing left, and we're gonna end this review, revisit for me, new for you, by saying y'all come on down to New Orleans. And thank you for this Louisiana Beer Reviews t-shirt. Welcome. Not for sale. <laughs>